Hi, my uh, DDR2 memory RAM broke a few days ago and uh, when the Windows uh, is trying to load it uh, the computer just restarts so uh, I tested it on uh, other computers and uh, it still doesn't want to work so uh, it's uh, useless to PCs but uh, just out of uh, curiosity let's uh, measure how much uh, current it takes on uh, 1.8 volts and uh, no data going into it or going out and on uh, 1.8 volts takes about 400 milliamps you can see the input voltage I'm going to increase it a little bit and yeah about 400 milliamps I uh, think that one of the memory chips uh, is broken and uh, making this whole thing useless I can actually feel some of this uh, IC is getting warm this here on this side I'm getting pretty warm and this one those ones are cold I don't know why but anyway we are uh, going to try and overclock it to 12 volt input <laughs> and uh, it's gonna be pretty fun I guess Alright, so uh, <coughs> let's blow up this memory RAM module. Well, it's, draw it's drawing over 20 amps. It's getting pretty hot actually. Yep. The magic snout is going out. Hmm. That's pretty nice actually. Let's turn the memory over here. This wire's melted. So let me get some replacement wires. <laughs> Oops. Uh, this is the only part of the memory RAM that actually blew up because uh, the second part I tried all the combination possible to get uh, some smoke out of it and uh, there was a bit of smoke coming out of one, uh, one IC but uh, that was all so I think that this part of the memory RAM was broken because this one it took all the power and the IC is blowed, blew but uh, this one no and uh, I blew the current shunt of my multimeter thank god to this uh, silicone wires which I used in uh, LC hobby they are pretty good uh, wires you can put to them tens of amps and they won't even get warm so uh, that was my uh, video of overclocking this memory RAM. 
Thanks for watching, guys.